what it means. <laughs> It means when Dodge dances uncontrollably, when Dodge dances uncontrollably, when the school bell rings. That's what it means. Oh, no! Oh, thank you, Megan. <laughs> We're putting your words in Dodge's book. I've made that word. We'll see you. Ah, it's falling out. Hotel Troubles next is brand new. We'll see you this afternoon. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel Trouble. It may not look like much from the outside, but come inside and take a look. Meet Sally, our receptionist. Always service with a smile. People trying to have a conversation here. And this is Lenny. He's a man of many talents. We're just not sure what they are yet. Ah, yes, this is Dolly, Mr. Trouble's fiance. She's always full of bright ideas for the hotel. And here's Mrs. Poshington, our oldest guest and newest cleaner. Although I'm not actually sure she's ever done any cleaning. Which just leaves me, Jamie, on the bellboy. Can I take your bags? Lenny, when I asked you to help Mrs. P clean the toilets... Yes, Jamie? I actually meant help her clean them. Oh, not use her cat, General Poshington, as a toilet brush. No. Guess what? Mr. Trouble wants us to do the most exciting thing! <gasps> Puppet, like it, polka it. More exciting than that. <laughs> not possible. T wants two people from here to go to Fishgo Tech tonight. Fishgo Tech? Mr. T's celeb hangout. Gossip magazine says it's where fish and disco collide. In a good way. Welcome to Fishgo Tech, the exclusive glitzy hangout of such mega celebrities as Nicole Squidman, Tuna Tempa, Fern Codon, and Charlotte Perch. Let's see what Ron Connery has to say. It's simply the best. And Muscle Crow is absolutely clear. I'm husband to a hungry wife, father to a starving son. Call me shellfish, but I will have their portions of fish and chips in this world or the next. Fish Tech, where fish and celebrity collide in a good way. Brought to you by Trouble Incorporated. Other fish-based businesses are available, however they're not as good. And stink of fish. And it's full of hot totty. Oh, I love hot totty. Especially a bit where, like, the cheese comes out the side and you just... Oh. That's a toasty, Lenny. I'm talking about gorgeous, famous boys, all in one place, unable to get away. It's a bit of a shame there's nobody here who'd want to take advantage of that situation. Was that Sally calling from Guatemala? Um... Maybe. Wondering where I am? Well, you should have been watching then, shouldn't you? But for people with excuses, here's what's been going on. This is Daisy. Ugh. Daisy's on the run. Firstly, because she stole an elephant. Our top story, an elephant has disappeared from London Zoo. It is believed the thief is a young woman, Daisy Birchall. All have been advised to remain on their guard. And then, because she posted me to Guatemala! Shh. If you keep quiet, I promise I'll send you all the new issues of Gossip Magazine. And then she took my job on reception, and that was all bad. Although, it turns out Daisy has got a good excuse for the elephant. Maybe the elephant was imprisoned in a lab, and she rescued it. Did you think of that? Jamie and Lenny don't know what Daisy's done. Sunny Guatemala. Oh, I must be from Sally. They think she's just a normal receptionist. Daisy. Or any of Sally's magazines, they're clustering up the TV room. So it looks like she's staying. Gloss. But only until I get back. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, that reminds me. She uh, sent me some photos. <laughs> oh, look. She was on the beach <laughs> by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's made a friend. Oh. Something different about her, though. Yeah. Oh, 
she's not got a uniform on. That's right. People always look different when they're not at work, don't they? Yeah. Did she uh, send a letter with these? Oh, yeah, she did. I've not read it yet. But, uh, hang on, it was here a second ago. Daisy, you've not seen the letter, have you? No, no. <laughs> so, which of us should go to Fishgotech then? Jamie? A disco, when I could be working here on my second shift as the night porter. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> what about you, Daisy? Do you fancy a night of celebrities, paparazzi and haddock? Mm, I don't know. I like to keep my head down, really. The last thing I want is a camera pointing at me. Oh, look! A camera crew! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, it's a... Oh. Come on, Daisy, come on. No, I'm staying here. Don't worry, Jamie. I'll take it from here. Come on, chase the wall. Chase the wall. Honey, that's how we coax you out of hiding places. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Come on, Daisy, what's the problem? I just don't want to be on TV. Why not? It's not as if you're a wanted criminal and the police will find out where you're hiding, is it? <laughs> 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 Uh, so, are you going to come out, then? No. Oh, come on. They're probably not filming here. They probably just need somewhere to store their cameras. It's not as if they've got a celebrity presenter with them. <gasps> Barney! Jamie! 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 It's Barney! Huh? You know, Barney Howard, off the teller. He's in Basil Brush, Barney's Barrier Reef, Basil and Barney's Swap Shop, Bamzooka, oh, Bear Behaving Badly. Wow, he's in a lot of shows. That's just the bees, Jamie. That's just the bees. And, uh, this is Jamie. Hey, how you doing? I'm Barney. <sighs> I've heard you're in a lot of TV programmes. Yeah, yeah, I do quite a few. So, you're the bellboy then? Yes. And, uh, manager in waiting. <laughs> Unofficial. Secretive manager in waiting. Well, I have to say, you are perfect. For what? My brilliant idea to get publicity for the hotel. I've asked Barney here if he'd like to film his TV show, which is going to be all about Bell Boys. You're simply the best. Better than all the I'd love to stay at Hotel Bravo. I saw you on that bellboy show. I think you are amazing. Really? Oh, yes. I want to stay at your hotel forever and ever. And I... <laughs> Needed that. Huh? <laughs> and that. So, what do you think? It really is a... Brilliant idea, Dolly. Jamie, you're right. Did you actually say that my idea was brilliant? Whoa. I did, didn't I? Oh, oh. 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 Just the shock. It'll, it'll wear off in a minute. Right then, let's get started, shall we? Jamie, just talk us through your day. The life of a bellboy is one of constant pressure. I have to make split-second decisions in the most dynamic and fluid of situations. Oh, oh, which hand do I carry the suitcase in? Is my uniform blue enough? <laughs> Should it be... More blue. Cut. Being a bellboy isn't just about being a boy who answers bells. Although it is mostly that. But I also have to do things like plump the cushions. And uh, open the uh, curtains. Follow me. Is that what you're worried about? It's fine. Lots of people don't like to be on telly. 
I completely understand. You understand? Hey, TV's not all it's cracked up to be, you know? It's really hard work. It's exhausting sometimes. You don't look exhausted. What, this? This fresh face thing? <laughs> it's makeup. Look. <gasps> I haven't slept in three years. They keep making me film TV shows all the time. It's non stop. I'm tired. I had no idea. Bonnie! Shh, Bonnie! Where are you? Don't tell anyone I told you this. No, no, of course. <sighs> so, remember TV is brilliant. TV isn't just for entertainment, it, it's for everything. Uh, if you want to change the world, then TV is your friend. Now, will you stop screaming in the back of all Jamie's shots, please? Um, OK. Deal. OK, back to work, everyone. If you want to change the world, TV is your friend. Look, I'm, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Daisy. I hope it won't interfere with the schedule. Oh, no, I'm sure it'll be fine. Because I really want this bellboy program to go well. Yeah, of course you do, Jamie. It'll be fine. You'll be brilliant. Don't worry about it, mate. You're going to be famous. Every time someone sees your face, they're going to think about this program. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> right. Ready yet? Okay, okay. In, um, in three, two... Hi, I'm Barney Harwood, and you're joining me here at Hotel Trouble for another fantastic episode of Britain's Most Boring Bellboys. <laughs> When I call you a loser I I'd hate to stay at Hotel Trouble. And I call you... Hi. I saw you on that bellboy show. I think you are amazing. Really? Still... Lee Dull? I would never stay at your hotel in a million years. I preferred the burps. <laughs> but I'm not a bit boring. No, Jamie, you're not a bit boring. You're enormously boring. I mean, think about it. The uniform, the, the forks, your face. I think you're more boring than quantum physics. In fact, I'm thinking of extending this show, making a two-hour special all about you. But you can't do that. I mean, I'm a bellboy. My father was a bellboy. His father was a... Well, actually, no, his father was a lackey, but he worked his way up. It was the winter of 1938, actually, I think, and it was... Are you listening to me? Are you even awake? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, wonderful sleep. So even Jamie's voice was that boring it sent me to sleep. Oh, glorious sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you were, um, you were saying? I was just saying my... Dolly! Dolly wouldn't stop the filming. No. She was all like, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, she was like that when we were on the news. We were on the news? No. <laughs> we weren't on the news for, uh, selling the hotel for the price of a single jammy donut. You could always quit. What? Well, if you quit, then then Hotel Trouble will have a boring bellboy for Barney to make a programme about. Problem solved. Lenny, you do remember how Hotel Trouble is the only thing I've ever cared about in my whole life, ever? Well, yeah, but... Actually, I think you've got something. Well, the lotion's helping. If we don't have a boring bellboy, Barney doesn't have a show. But that doesn't mean I have to resign. I just have to do something really exciting. Now, what's, uh, what's really exciting? Chess. That's ridiculous. Yeah, too much. I mean, you don't want to blow his mind. <laughs> just think I need something really wow, you know? Something that screams, I'm so exciting. Like what, Jamie? You know, like an elephant placard. What's this? No to elephant testing. I'm taking Barney's advice. TV can change the world, and my campaign for justice starts right here. Legalise elephant theft. 
Free the lab elephants. Well, I thought you didn't want to be on TV. Well, that's why they have eye holes in them. Hello? <gasps> Mr. Trouble! Oh, no, we haven't forgotten. Fish Go Tech, half seven. So exciting. Thank you so much. Hello? No, he's gone. Of course. Fish Go Tech, I'll go there. That'll prove I'm not boring. Well, I'm going. Since you didn't want to. Well, I've changed my mind. I'm going to get loads of celebrities to sign up to my campaign. What campaign? Elephants? Daisy, you haven't expressed the slightest interest in elephants in all the time you've been here. They think she's just a normal receptionist. Pardon you. Thank you. So, why don't you both go? You know, like a date. Uh, uh, well, uh, Dolly's out tonight and, um, can't leave you and Mrs P alone, can we? Remember what happened the last time? Bye! Bye! Oh, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Uh, you have fun. <laughs> now what are we going to do? Um... We could press that button they told you never to press. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hotel self-destruct activated in oh, five. I guess that's why not. Four, three, oh, oh, two, yeah, oh. one. So I guess that means you, you can't, can't go, go tonight. tonight. What? No way you're going instead of me. Think of the elephants. But if I don't go, then the hotel is in big trouble. Don't you care? Wait, so who is going to go? Me! No, me! OK, OK, look. Mr Trouble said the night was for two people, right? Like a... a, a date. Right. So, how about this? First one of us to get a date gets to go. You've got a deal. Great. Brilliant. You're on. So, I'm picturing you, me, a halibut, and some of my special moves. <laughs> oh, hello. Sorry, mate. So, uh, are we on for tonight or what? No. What? Why not? Because I'm washing the general. Oh, sorry. Gotta go. Bye. All right, serious mummy's here. She said no. And then she hung up. Women. I've called all the girls I know and both of them have said no. Now how am I going to find a date? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. There's an elephant. Yes. Uh, and an awful lot of... Dung, I know. It's mine. No, the elephant is mine. Look, Barney, I'm not going to beat about the bush. I desperately need your help. I've done... questionable things. But I'm on a mission, Barney Harwood. And right now, I need a man like you. <laughs> Oh, the papers, yeah. People find dates in the paper. I don't know, any Lonely Hearts. Yeah, trust me, Jamie. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Uh, 20 years old, quiet, reliable. Sounds quite nice. Oh, available now. Excellent. Midnight Blue. Interesting. But wait, wait. Is this a car? Um. Don't be stupid, Lenny. The only date I'm looking forward to is me and MOT. <coughs> Yeah, sorry, Jamie. I can't let Barney put us on that programme. There's only one thing left for me to do. Ruddy dolly. But, but I thought you said you couldn't quit. It's even worse than that. I'm going to have to ask her out. She's the only other girl around. Calm down, Jamie! This is not the time for this kind of mad talk! Righto. Uh, when will it be time, then? I, I do like a plan, you see. I'm not boring, I tell you! I'm not boring! Jamie, snap out of it! <laughs> Good afternoon. Can I take your bags? <sighs> Thanks. Jamie, you've just got to relax. Daisy's only been here two weeks. There's no way she can find anyone by now. So, you're up for it? Of course. I'd love to. I really would. Oh, no. She's dating Barney. Don't worry about it, Jamie. They're probably not arranging a date. I mean, he's probably just joined her elephant campaign or something. 
we've probably just hilariously got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah, that's probably it. It's probably just a terrible comic misunderstanding. <laughs> I can't wait for our date tonight, Barney. Neither can I. <laughs> right, that's it. Barney, a word. Dolly's office. Now! Listen, Harwood! So, here we are, up close and personal, with what actually might be Britain's most boring bellboy. I am not! All right, then. Prove it. I'm trying! Hang on. You stopped falling asleep when I talked to you. Ha-ha! <laughs> not so boring now, am I? Oh. I am boring. Look, Jamie, if you wanted to prove that you're just too exciting to be on my show, all you had to do was... Come here. All oh, right. Yes, of course. Cripes. Well, that is exciting. So? Never. I couldn't. Not even for the good of the hotel. Actually, I think you've got something. Quiet, please. And action! Jamone! Jamone! Jimmy Jamone! Pop it, lock it, poke it, dot it! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Me! Jamie, me, take your bags. Give, give. Oh, and, uh... Ah! Jamie, what, what are you doing? Proving I'm not boring. And keeping myself and the hotel off the telly. Right, Barney? Um, I, I, I'm afraid not, Jamie. What? But you said... I, I said I wouldn't put you on Britain's Most Boring Bellboys. <laughs> Jamie? You've just been pranked by the prank yeah! patrol! <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know! <laughs> was when Jamie did that stupid Tarzan thing. <laughs> and when he told me my idea was brilliant. Actually, no, that was the best bit. Well, the best part of the prank for me was this bit, where you feel me saying that the best part of the prank for me was this bit. Where you feel me saying that the best part of the prank for me was this bit. Just... Where you feel me saying that the best part of the prank for me was this bit. I liked the bit where I was washing the cat. Well, I really haven't had a lot to do this episode, so I thought it would bear a slow motion replay. Yes, just like that. Where you film. Where you film me saying that the best part of the prank for me was this bit. Where. So there's. No such programme as Britain's Most Boring Bellboys. It was all part of the prank. Yeah, made it all up. <laughs> now millions of people will see how stupid you look on national television. <laughs> Not a lot of change there, then. Why aren't you mortified? Well, made you laugh, right? So if I'm not very much mistaken, it will make the nation laugh too. And... That's got to be great publicity for the hotel, so thanks, Prank Patrol. Oh, and you get to go on a date with Barney Harwood. Yeah. So I think everything's turned out pretty well. I know. Isn't it exciting? And he's going to introduce me to loads more celebs who can sign up for my campaign. No problem. It's a pleasure, Daisy. I do have one more thing to say to you before we go in. Oh, what? You've been pranked by the Prank Patrol. I'm not Barney at all. <laughs> I'm Lenny. I don't believe it. Yeah, Barney didn't want to come out on a date with you after all, so he got me involved with the prank. What was your best bit? Well, my favourite part must have been 
when I told you that you've been pranked by the Prank Patrol. I'm Mrs. Washington. Daisy was too worried to come out to the nightclub after all. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's a good one. You really got me, Mrs. B. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's party. Yeah. <laughs> Hotel Trouble. Hotel Trouble forever. It's a kiss and we know it's stuck, but we love it. Hotel Trouble forever. We're a team, stay calm on and on. So the hotel survives. Trouble, trouble. Keep the hotel alive. Learn and play with Deadly 60 Animal Puzzles. Can you solve them all? Each puzzle has unique facts about the deadliest of creatures and there are four types of games to play. Just swing over to bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc and get amongst it. Deadly on CBBC. Nothing gets you closer to the action. We've got some extraordinary new shows to feed your animal appetite. I'll be counting down to my ultimate hunters in Deadly Top 10s. With new Live and Deadly, we'll be back on the road for more wild weekends. And it's time to go Deadly 360, where I'll be delving beneath the fur and feathers of the planet's deadliest predators. So get ready to get deadly on CBBC. No one gets you closer.